I survived 100 days in Dragonfire in Minecraft. I've landed into this all new Minecraft world with only the satchel I spawned in with. Inside, my first dragon egg and some treats to level it up. I need to put in some serious work and test my survival skills to the max if I'm going to achieve the three main objectives that you guys watching at home have set me. One, defeat all five Dragonfire dungeons that spawn in this world. Two, survive a trip into the Darklands. And three, find and collect all 65 dragon eggs in the game. Do I have what it takes to achieve these huge goals you guys have set for me? Or will I just end up another dragon snack? Stay tuned to find out what happens next. Day one, and straight away, I'm super happy about my spawn point. I mean, I have an extreme hills biome on my left, a forest biome to my right, and I'm standing in the plains biome. <laughs> Not bad. Not to mention the fact that I have a dragon's nest right above my head. Speaking of dragons, let's check out the one I spawned in with. No way, it's a natter, so cool! But first, I needed to get some tools and weapons to defend myself and make some kind of basic camp. I headed over to the forest area and chopped down some trees to get wood. Then I made myself a little crafting table and placed it down. I crafted a sword, a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel to get started. Might as well have them all. Then I got to work chopping down more trees so I could build a basic shelter for when nighttime hits. Ain't nobody got time for those stinking mobs. Then I built a basic wooden house with spaces for some windows so I could keep an eye on my surroundings at night. After that, I took a trip across to the extreme hills biome and gathered some stone to make a furnace. And I also found some coal to make torches and to cook some food. Oh yeah, food! <laughs> I found some animals along my way and I gathered up the food I needed to get through a few days at least. After that, I made some torches for my camp, made a furnace and cooked my food so that I could eat. As nighttime was creeping in, I wanted to do one last thing on day one. Get that egg from the nest above me. I gathered up lots of dirt from around my camp to make a tower tall enough for me to reach. I made it up and it was an archangel egg. No way! I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. So cool! I got back down to my camp, headed inside and chilled out for the rest of the night. I don't have a bed yet, so I guess I'm pulling an all-nighter. <laughs> Last night was a long one. First job on the list today, find some sheep to get some wool to make a bed. After a little hunting, I found a couple grazing away. Sorry guys, but your girl here needs a bed. I did what I had to do, got back to camp and made my bed. With enough food and a decent shelter, my real mission can begin. Let's go hunting some eggs, shall we? First one of the day, after some vertical building, <laughs> was a beautiful blaze falcon egg. Wow, this nest is pretty epic. Second egg of the day, again after some vertical building, <laughs> was this beautiful elemental egg. So far, I've been pretty lucky with the eggs I've found. These guys are epic. And just as I was heading back to camp, I stumbled across this beautiful nest and one of my ultimate favorite dragons, the Lotus Dragon. Fun fact, I designed and created this dragon, so I might be biased in thinking it was the best. <laughs> I made it back to my base just as the sun was going down after a pretty epic day. Then I looked at what I had achieved today. Now I have five dragon eggs in total, and you guys get to decide right now which one I'll hatch and level up so I can fly around this world so much easier. Will it be my first egg, the natter, or my archangel egg, my blaze falcon, the elemental, or my lotus egg? Vote now and in the morning I'll pick the winner. Day 3 and what a beautiful day it was. First action of the day, deciding what dragon I was going to hatch. And after looking at your guys comments, you were kind of all over the place but I chose the blaze falcon because it had the easiest incubator, but good work guys. Now all I need is a tier 1 lava incubator and in order to make that, I need obsidian and a bucket of lava. I upgraded my weapons and tools to stone ones so that they last longer. Then I made my way over to this cave entrance I spotted just off my camp. I made my way in, placing down some torches and I found the jackpot! Iron! I started to mine all of it. I needed it to make buckets and more importantly, armor. I made my way around the cave some more and I found even more iron. This place is packed with the stuff. After mining for a few hours, I went back home and I stuck all my iron into the furnace. I had managed to gather 39 iron ore blocks, plenty to make buckets and some armor. Days four to seven, time to get my egg incubator. I grabbed the iron from the furnace and made myself a few buckets. Then I got some water from this pond. Now I need some lava to make obsidian. 
After I did a little search, I found this pool of lava. Perfect. I threw the bucket of water over it and boom, obsidian. <laughs> but then I remembered I needed a diamond pickaxe. <laughs> what a noob. I found the entrance of this cave and it looks like it goes pretty deep. Perfect to find me some diamonds. And after a little digging for the rest of day four and into day five, I was deep enough in to find a little lava cave like this one. Now to find some diamond. They have to be near. I dug around in every direction for the next day. And finally, on night six, I found the jackpot. Diamond ore. <laughs> and some emeralds too. Nice. Finally, on day seven, after spending the night finding my way out of that cave and going back to the obsidian to mine it, I made it back home. I wasted no time in crafting my lava incubator. I surrounded my lava bucket with the obsidian I mined and boom, a tier one lava incubator. Time for bed. I'll stick the egg on first thing in the morning. On day eight, the first thing I did was stick my blaze falcon egg in the incubator. Man, am I looking forward to seeing this little guy soon. I wonder if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. What do you guys think, boy or girl? While I was waiting, I decided to take a look around for some more dragon eggs. And after a whole lot of walking around, I found this place, a redwood forest. This place was gonna be very important in getting our forest fury egg later in the video. But for now, I do not wanna fight one of these guys and end, not now anyway. Getting back on my egg hunt, I came across this nest in the sky. Thank goodness I had some dirt blocks on me to build up. Once I got up, I realized it was a storm falcon egg. Woohoo! Jackpot! First one of the day! And next, I came across this little nest. So cute and very recognizable. It was a deadly natter egg. I love these guys! I grabbed them up and headed back towards home. It was starting to get dark. On the morning of day nine, I hatched my first dragon egg. This beautiful baby blaze falcon. What a little beauty. I'm gonna need some cool name suggestions, guys. Let's go. After I fed it some treats, I put it in my dragon orb and headed out on a few days expedition to find more dragon eggs. And first up, this guy. Looks like a thunder drum nest. I swam across to the island and looked around. Nothing. Then I remembered the egg spawns under the island. <laughs> I took a dive under and searched around, but the visibility is pretty poor down here. Eventually though, I found it. My very first thunder drum egg. It looks so cool. I can see a swamp biome from here, so that's where I headed next. And on my way over the hills from the other side, I spotted this little bump, or hill shall we say, and I knew it had to be a nest. I got to the entrance and started to make my way down. I think I know what this place is, and I am terrified. I made it to the opening of the nest, and I was right. It's a screaming death nest. Ah! And his mom or dad are still in here. I needed to be swift and very careful not to annoy this guy while I stole the egg. After some slick moves, I made it. Look at this egg. It's one of my favorites. I grabbed it and of course, I had to grab the diamond and the gold ore too. I mean, I couldn't just leave it here. But now, it's time to move on. While I was walking through another swamp, I spotted this nest in the sky. It looked like a storm stratus nest. Woohoo! I made my way up and took a look around. This nest is epic. I mean, just look at it. And there it was, the Storm Stratus egg, another one in the books. The next egg I found was this one, a nightlight. Cool, I don't think I've seen one of them yet. After that, my look kept rolling in. I found this Gronkle egg, so cute, but so fat and slow. <laughs> I found this Drake egg, they're very common, but still a good find. And then my final egg of this expedition on day 11, this Clang egg. Now that I have gotten so many cool new eggs and so much food in my inventory, it's time to head back to camp to regroup. I spent all of day 12 traveling back. Day 13, and I got to work making as many dragon treats as possible to level my blaze falcon to a level where it can fly. There you go, buddy. I hope they taste delicious. <laughs> After what felt like all of the treats ever, I have a flying blaze falcon. <laughs> this is amazing. It's going to mean I can get back and forth from my camp much quicker. I decided to bring my lava incubator to the next level, so I brought it to my crafting table and I surrounded it with iron ingots and boom, level two incubator for me. This will mean quicker hatch times. I realize now that if I'm gonna collect all 65 dragon eggs, I would need some place big enough to store them all so that you guys can see them. So I got to work gathering supplies in order to make a dragon egg gallery. One for the ages. 
and I decided that right here in the middle of three different biomes, this would be the location of my epic dragon egg gallery where I'll display all my eggs once I've completed the challenge. I started to put the bottom of the wall edge down. I already regret my decision to make this place. It's gonna be huge! <laughs> on days 14 to 19, I went on yet another dragon egg hunt and it started off pretty strong. I found this nest in the taiga biome. Looks like a candy ice place. <laughs> yeah. Inside, I found an iron egg. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. Then, I found this new place. It's a blue forest. What? This looks epic! But before I can investigate it, I found this nest. And I think that it's a pretty rare egg if I'm right about it. I broke through the ice and it was, oh my gosh, a bewilderbeast egg. These guys are huge. Now that I had the egg, I moved into the blue forest, also known as the Lightlands. This place is so beautiful. I had no idea what dragon, if any, I was meant to find in this new biome. But so far, it's one of my favorite places. Next on my list was this bad boy nest. This one looks really scary. <laughs> Inside, I found a beautiful Skrill egg. These dragons are terrifying. I mean, that would totally give you nightmares. Then, on day 18, I came across this thing. What was it? It looks like some kind of meteor or something. Of course I landed and I checked it out. Wait, what the? Are those aliens? Oh my gosh, <laughs> those are aliens. This is so cool. I fought them off, but they kept coming back. There must be some spawners around. I got curious, so I started to dig inside the meteor, and I was right. So cool! Once I got inside, more aliens. <laughs> and these guys are purple! I managed to fight these guys off eventually, and I broke the spawn blocks. And look, it's an egg! I broke it and picked it up. A galaxy egg? This is so cool! I cannot wait to see what this dragon looks like later in the video. Be sure to stick around to see you guys. After my exciting time with the meteor, I found this colorful little guy. The rainbow dragon egg. I've seen these guys up close and they are just the cutest. And just as I was about to head home on day 19, I found this one. Looks like a death gripper nest. I made my way inside. Man, I do not want to disrupt these guys. I climbed up the tree and eventually I found the egg. Now time to head home and start my dragon egg gallery. On day 20, I started to put down my egg collection in their locations and mark what ones they are with a sign in front of each egg. My plan is to have the egg up front and then a platform behind where I can hatch the egg so you guys can see it in the end. Over the next few days, I decided I wanted to attempt my first dungeon to get my first dragon egg, Krogon. In order to get into the dungeon, I was going to need a dungeon key from killing some of these guys. Let's go. <laughs> Man, these guys are tough and they had me on the edge so many times, but eventually I had bow parts to the key for the Frogon dungeon. I made my way inside and I was greeted by this cute little fella, <laughs> Frogodile. It looks like this isn't gonna be all fun and games though. This is gonna be hard work. These guys were everywhere, mages and warriors out to stop me for getting my frog on egg. But even after all these frogs, these are the guys I need to take down, the frog ninjas. Because they drop these once they die. A heavy door key, boom. Another one bites the dust. Or should I say, drinks the gross swamp water. Ew! <laughs> wow, this ninja has me in a corner and all these stinking frogs are trying to eat me and poison me. Get away from me! And this guy was the final ninja I needed to get my last heavy door key. Now to find the doors in question. After some searching, I found them. Man, I hope there isn't any more frogs through here. <laughs> I made it all the way through and there's no sign of any mobs. Wow, is that a frog on dragon? <laughs> so cool! Then I opened the chest. Yes, the egg is inside. I did it. I got my frog on dragon and I defeated the frog on dungeon. Back on that dragon egg grind after defeating my first dungeon last night and I did not have to wait long. I found this nest with both parents still around. Yikes! I snuck inside and grabbed the egg. Boom! A catastrophic quaken. I think that's my 19th egg. I'm not doing too bad. Next up, this cool Magnus egg. Not the prettiest of dragons, but still pretty cool. I barely spotted this tucked away nest when I was flying over, but I'm glad I did because I got my first silver egg. Woohoo! On day 27, I found this awesome nest. It looks like some kind of Egyptian themed castle. So I checked it out and inside I found this guy, a Nightbringer egg. Wow, sounds kind of scary. 
I also noticed these scorpion riders and these huge brown lizards that protect the desert dungeons. Something I'll need in the future for sure, but for now, more eggs please! My next dragon egg was a little beauty. It was this, guys. The ace dragon egg. I love these guys. And the fact that Tiny Turtle designed them makes them even better. Next on the list was this hard-to-get egg beneath the water surface. I swam down and I finally found it. A sea shocker egg. That brings up the total to 25 eggs found. And finally, on night 29, I found the holy grail of dragon eggs. I found this knife fury nest with this beautiful knife fury egg inside. This is epic! Finally, one of the furies in my collection. Time to head back home. On day 31, I added my new dragon eggs to my gallery. This thing was coming along nicely. I also gathered more food for my travels. And finally, I upgraded my armor and weapons to diamonds so I can start to take out these dungeons with ease. The next one on my list was a Fire Nation dungeon, but before I can get in, of course, I'm gonna need to portal to the nether and get a key. I went back home and grabbed the obsidian I had in my chest and the flint and steel I made earlier to create this, a nether portal. Time to go inside and get me the keys I need to get into the Fire Nation dungeon. Now that I'm in, I need to find some Fire Nation soldiers to kill and take their keys. <laughs> And after hours of searching, I finally found some Fire Nation camps inside the nether. I fought some soldiers and I got my first Fire Nation key, but it's a tier 1! Oh man, I forgot this key is pointless to me because I want a tier 3 to get a chance of getting the Flame Spitter Dragon. I continued on fighting on soldiers until I got a tier 3 key and I entered the dungeon. I had to find my way through this confusing maze of soldiers and mages and also these guys. Super big and scary. Finally, I had enough heavy door keys to get to the end of this scary place. I opened the doors and there was even more soldiers to beat up. But then, it was just me and this crate. I opened it and it must be my luckiest video ever because there was a flame spitter egg in there on the very first try! Yes! Time to get this egg back to the gallery. The next 10 days, I was back on the hunt for more dragon eggs. And this guy was my first of the day on day 32. It was a Terex egg! I love these dragons because they come in so many different colors. They're so cool. I nearly missed this little nest flying by, but thankfully I didn't. It's the first storm cutter nest I've seen and the egg looks like it has giant eyebrows. <laughs> then on day 34, I found another Lightlands area, but this time I can see a nest! OMG! I landed and I ran right to it. Wow, look at these dragons. They look so good. And here's the egg. It's definitely like no other. It's so unique. I broke it and finally found out the name. This is a gladius egg. Wow, it's like that gladiator god name or something. Okay, by far the coolest egg yet. My next egg was hidden in behind a nest I've already seen and it looks like a rib cage. Hmm. I jumped in and found a new egg, a bone napper egg, another one for the gallery. It was now day 37 and I've still yet to find an ice area and I was beginning to wonder if I ever would. While still on my search on day 38, I came across what looks to be another sea shocker nest, but on closer flyby, I realized it wasn't. I jumped right in and found it was actually a hydroptera nest and it had a lovely little egg waiting for me. These last few days have been very lucrative on the egg hunt. Now to get my dragon back. Pity he doesn't like water. <laughs> but finally, on day 40, I hit snow. Time to hunt for some ice plain dragon eggs. Woohoo! I flew past that Christmas dungeon, and for once, I wasn't looking forward to presents. <laughs> this dungeon is next on my list, but right now, I'm on a mission to find some eggs. And thankfully, I did not have to wait long. Oh baby, I found myself a crimson gore gutter egg. <laughs> it looks like it's kind of wearing some sort of funny hat. After freezing my poor little toes off searching for some more eggs, I had found a nice little shard egg to finish off my hunt for now. It's about a two day flight home direct from here, so that's what I'm gonna do. On day 43, I added the new dragon eggs I found to the dragon egg gallery. I have a total of 33 eggs, so I'm roughly just over halfway there. Man, am I tired. <laughs> I know some of the dragons require stones to make and some need DNA stuff, but for now, it's coming along great. Now it's time to move on to my next dungeon, the Christmas dungeon. Inside, a snowball dragon egg. And boy, do I want that. <laughs> to get in, I first need to find and kill some of these guys. Stupid yetis. 
After about two days and endless Yeti battles, I finally have the Christmas dungeon key. Let's go! I'm not gonna lie to you guys though, I did have to do all of this twice. But I got into the dungeon, killed some elves and some yetis to get heavy door keys, made my way through Santa's workshop until I got into the room with the ultimate present. I opened it up and I got a snowball egg! Thank goodness for that because I was not looking at doing another dungeon and getting myself on the naughty list. Day 51. I just got my snowball dragon egg after defeating the Christmas dungeon over the last few days. And I know only one way to celebrate this victory. Egg hunt! <laughs> I was only buzzing when I found this little guy in his beehive. See what I did there? <laughs> I added a bee dragon to my collection. Then I found this guy floating above the ground like the myth it was. These guys look so mean. And look at that egg. It's so cool and unique from the rest. Then don't ask me how I spotted this nest, but I did. I must have flown over about five times looking for it after I saw a level 100 light fury flying away. But there it is. The light fury egg. Eek, that's so exciting. Soon after that, I found this nest in the desert biome. Oh yeah, a monstrous nightmare. Not what you'd want to be thinking about before bed. <laughs> and then I went to the ultimate extreme, the ice biome, to get this little woolly fella, a titan woolly howl egg. Such a cute name. <laughs> On a night 56, I found these tigers with wings, also known as the Tigris dragon. If I could have one of these in real life and it promised not to eat me, I'd be so happy. <laughs> On my way through the desert, I found this little temple. Kinda looks like the Nightbringer temple, but smaller, and inside, a Night Stalker egg. I love these temples, and I can't wait to get the Mummy Dragon. He's amazing! And on day 59, on my way back to camp, I spotted these two-headed crazy dragons. The Zippleback! <laughs> Vicious fellas, but very dumb. <laughs> Another egg for the gallery. I used day 61 to add my eggs to my gallery. I'm starting to run out of room. <laughs> I crafted my enchantment table and my enchantment area from all the villages I've raided over the last 61 days. And I enchanted my armor and my weapons to give me the best chance in the next part of this video, the Darklands. Today is D-Day. Darklands Day, and I'm very nervous to say the least. This place is gonna be my biggest challenge yet. Here goes nothing. It's been a long time since I've been in here and I forgot what it was like. Pretty much straight away, I got attacked by a pack of wolves. Depending on what level the wolf is, it drops a tier one to three dragon key. But of course, I'm going for the tier three key so I can get my lichen egg. And then I found this dungeon door. Big breath, I can do this. And I'm not afraid to admit that it definitely took way more than one dungeon to get my egg. But I powered through, I killed all of the wolves and the werewolves, and I was just praying that I would get lucky enough to find this dragon egg. I am running out of days and I'm cutting it close. I finally opened the chest and boom, yes, a lichen egg. I couldn't be more happy about this situation and I never want to see a wolf for the rest of my life. After getting out of that dungeon and surviving another wolf attack, I found a little glitch in the matrix. It looks like a battle tower, two obelisks, and a dragon egg nest spawned into each other. I flew up to check it out, and I was right. I went inside and made my way downstairs. Wow, so many zombies. I want to get in and out. I ran to the back, grabbed the egg, and it's a zombie egg. Woohoo, that looks awesome. Time to get out of here. About two or three hours wandering these darklands later, I found another nest and I'm pretty sure I know what this one is already. I went inside and found the egg and my suspicions were correct. I just got the vampire egg! Boom! Only one egg left in here to get and then I can go back to my comfy bed. And I'm finally, on day 70, I found the last dragon nest. The mummy dragon! I went inside and it seemed all clear. Thank goodness, because I have had a crazy few days. I grabbed the mummy egg and got out of there. Only one thing left to do. Fight Cerebrus, get the fire essence, and make my flamestone. So here goes nothing. I went for it. It was a crazy battle and I can't believe it, but in the end, yes, I am awesome. I managed to get my fire essence. I was super happy and now it was time to go back to the overworld where I belong. I added my new dragon eggs to the gallery and I went straight to a fury temple to make my fire stone by surrounding the fire essence with diamond crystal shards on the special anvil. And to think, I was just gonna throw them out. <laughs> so now, along with a night fury, I have what I need to make my flame fury. 
epic! My next task, gathering all the essence and items I need to make my other fury stones. And I don't have that much time left. This is kind of looking impossible. First stone on my list today, the forest stone. And before I can get that, I gotta kill me some Ents. <laughs> I got to work chopping these guys down one stinking tree at a time. I needed eight forest shards along with the forest essence to make the stone. After a while, I had all the shards I needed, so now it's time for the boss man, the Beerkin. I found it and I wasted no time in getting started. I spawned in the Beerkin and I got to killing him too. And to be fair, I made light work of him. I mean, he's not much of a boss, more like a part-time supervisor. <laughs> but now, I have the forest essence. I went to the closest fury temple and I surrounded my essence with the shards and voila, a forest stone, two down. Next stone on the list, the water stone. For this, I was gonna need some jelly from the jellyfish. Jeez, I hate jellyfish. I needed some teeth off a couple of sharks. We're sharky when you need them, typical. And finally, I needed some crab legs. <laughs> Don't mind if I do, delish. <laughs> then it was time to fight Krabby Pads himself. Bring it, bruh. Wow, this thing was huge. I wonder how much he would be in a nice fish food joint. <laughs> anyway, I got stuck in and eventually I won and the Crab King dropped the water essence I needed. I made it to the Fury Temple and I crafted together my water stone. <laughs> Three down and I'm making great time. In order to get the Shadow Fury, I needed the Shadow Stone. So I did what I had to do and that involved killing lots of these little warp spiders. I hate spiders. Ugh. And then I had to fight these shadow warriors until they dropped the shadow dungeon key I needed. I entered this particular dungeon for the first time having no idea what to expect. And there were mobs everywhere. I took down plenty of shadow mages, so now it's time to open the heavy doors and see where it leads. As I went through, I quickly realized I'm in a maze. Ugh. I'm so bad at mazes and they make me claustrophobic. I was in there for what felt like hours when suddenly I found the last heavy door. I opened it up and went through and there was a ton more mobs. I ran to grab the shadow essence and get out of there. I went to a fury temple for the last time and made my shadow stone. Now that I have all the stones I need, it's time to gather up the rest of the eggs I'm missing from the gallery. The time crunch is real. I only have a few days left to find four more dragon eggs, craft my DNA equipment for the hybrids and take on the final dungeon, arguably the hardest one. Thankfully, day 81 started off well when I found this nest in the Nessa. I've never seen these guys before. They look so cool. The nest was a bit harder to get into than the other eggs, but I got down eventually. Wow, look at this egg. This guy is a blue phoenix egg. Awesome! I've been hunting these nests for the last two days and they all seem to have an iron egg. I think it's pure luck, but today, luck was on my side. <laughs> this is the festive eve dragon egg. Boom! And I'm finally on day 89. After flying around this forest for hours and hours, I found my second last egg. The folly falcon! Woohoo! <laughs> Now all that's left to do is get home and start making the DNA equipment I need to make the hybrids. And, oh yeah, the final dungeon for the Rex Egg. Day 91, so close to the end. My gallery is nearly finished and I'm very proud of it and all that we've achieved so far, but we still have two tasks left. The Rex dungeon to get our Rex Egg and I need to make the DNA equipment to make my hybrids. I spent the next four days going through my chest to find all the items I needed to craft my very own DNA science lab. Of course you need your dragons at level 100 to take their DNA, and I don't have that, but I still wanted to at least have everything here. And by day 95, I had it all good to go, including the DNA orbs with the correct DNA inside. Stay tuned to see them at the end. I spent a few days gathering supplies and getting keys for the last dungeon. This dungeon is all about luck. Some have the Rex egg inside, some are empty. Thankfully, I've collected three tier three dragon keys, so we have three attempts to be super lucky or we won't finish the objectives on time. I entered the dungeon and these pesky bugs are a nightmare, but I kept pushing through. Cobra warriors and mummies are not gonna keep me from my goal when I'm so close. Finally, I had enough heavy door keys to head through to the end. I pushed on, and there it is, the chest. I opened it, but no! I really thought we were gonna get lucky, but no Rex Egg. We have two attempts left, and on the second attempt of this dungeon, I made it to the end. I opened the last door, 
and the chest, and boom! We got the Rex egg! I can't believe it! I really thought we were gonna have to do it a third time! Time to get this last egg back to the gallery. Well, here it is, guys! Day 100, and I managed to achieve all of my goals! I survived my trip to the Darklands, I successfully defeated every dungeon and collected and made all 65 dragon eggs from day one until now. What a beautiful sight this is. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe. Peace out.